ready one, two, three, start or something. You never know what is necessary. Uh, and we are very much excited to be here with us, the celebrity educator, Minachi Shiram Krishna. She got a prestigious honor from Kalikit University as the National Education Award in the National Education Day. As the Montessori system is showcasing the model system everywhere in the club. Now Kerala also accepting this one, going to host a world-class global Montessori summit to be held at Arico. Here we have with us Ando Alogriga, our chief uh, person of Bambini Television and he is taking the camera in, in his own ways. And we have with us Nejna VP as a director of Kasade Bambini at Adhikot and came to hear Minachi ma'am to know the updates and the uh, basic foundations of Montessori in a very advanced level. They are conducting a teacher training program under World Montessori Council. Ma'am, I'm very yes. happy to meet here in this. So am I, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you just introduce about what is Montessori? Mm -hmm. It um, it is so vast like the ocean, but at the same time, it is so small that everybody can understand. People think that Montessori is for a specialized group of people. No, it is a common knowledge that you and I have got. What, as Montessorians, we are trying to do is point out to the persons, don't you know this? And the person says, yes. So it, it is not a teaching, but getting it out of them because most of them already do it. So Montessori becomes a philosophy. People do ask me, what is the curriculum? What is the uh, thing? What is the syllabus? What is it that you will teach children? What is it that you will do it? But we keep saying, we don't teach children, but we we'll make it available to them. The child who is in uh, a village learns so many village crafts without anybody teaching him. But at the same time, the child who grows up in a town or a city has absolutely no idea of what it is. So who is more knowledgeable? The child from the village? Maybe, yes, in certain areas. So we have, over the period of time that we have worked with children, using the Montessori method, we have found that all that we need to do is to bring it to the child and the child is there to absorb it. The child is there to learn. The child is there going to make it part of his personality. You can very easily see for a very rudimentary and um, base example that I can give that when a person opens his mouth and uh, speaks, let me say one language, English, you can try that, uh, you can find out from which part of India they are coming. Their own mother tongue has an influence on a tongue which is learned. We all have that uh, problem. And who taught them to speak that way? The expressions are there. And the, uh, the examples that we give, the way we talk to each other, that is all going to be there in the child. So most of the time Montessori is going to say, place it before the child and he will absorb it, he will take it. This pro is more difficult than getting to say, you have to teach one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you have to teach this, you have to teach this, you have to teach Baba Black Sheep, you have to teach Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That is very simple. That's very easily done.
the child in Kerala, the child in Punjab learns twinkle twinkle little star. But they say it differently. But the person who is in Kerala absorbs certain of the traits that are very common in Kerala. I enjoy it. When I come to Kerala, even though it is not my birthplace, but I'm, I feel very par much part of it because many of our thoughts coincide. People do ask me whether I prefer to work with Hindus, Christians, Muslims, Sikhs, but I say I work with people. I don't work with religions. It's each one's belief. If one wants the coffee with a lot of sugar and one wants his coffee without sugar, are they going to be different? They are all human beings only. So, the religious thoughts, the, uh, the uh, places from which they came, all don't matter. But we have to place things in front of the child so that he can absorb it. That is the Montessori. Yes. What is the sensitive period to the child? Ah, sensitive periods are, uh, the word itself says periods, no? Mm. So periods are chunks of time. So in a particular, uh, at a particular time, we are uh, sensitive to certain things, right? Even in the uh, animals, birds, we will call something called a mating season. Have you heard of it? And that is a time allotted by nature for them to procreate, to bring the next generation. Otherwise they are all right. You will find it in human life also. There are certain uh, age groups where the, the opposite sex is very attractive at that time. That is a sensitive period. God given, nature given, that is done because that is part of uh, human life. Our human life has to do this, do this, do this. But there is also our responsibility of uh, bringing the new generation into being. It's not uh, something uh, that we are not talking about. We do talk about it and we do talk about things. And uh, it's the same thing you will find in a baby. Certain things are very attractive at one point of time. You will, you would have yourself said about your children. Are you, he used to play with this for hours together. No, he doesn't touch it at all. That you would have found so many times we would have said before knowing that he was sensitive to that at that period of time. Once he has learned what it is, it, it is not relevant anymore. So I shift to the other one. It is the same thing. The whole of human life is like that. And the child's life is also like that. The child, if you know, the baby, I'm sure if you were uh, observant enough, you would have observed in your child when he was born and then in the cradle or a basin that is there. And you look at him and talk something knowing that he won't understand. But which part of your face does he look at? The both. Because that is the sensitive period for language. He has to acquire a language. That is nature given. Nature says a human being must have a language. Okay. The Montessori system of education, mm. it is a lifestyle, you know? A, a system is not a lifestyle. Okay. No. Because 